Hello, fifth grade, and welcome back to History Time. Last week, we talked about parts of Western Europe. Um, so let's really quick review what we talked about last week before talking about what we're going to look at this week. So last week, we talked about the Mediterranean countries of Spain, Portugal, Italy, and Greece. If you look on our map, those are right over here. Spain is in yellow, surrounds completely Portugal. It has a little Bay of Biscay off to the side. Then we have Italy, which is around the Mediterranean Sea. And then we have Greece way over here, which is by the Aegean Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. Then we talked a little bit about places in Central Europe, which was the mountains and mountain chains. And then for these four countries we talked about, we talked about artists, explorers, different rulers, and the kinds of governments that they have. Um, so let's look forward to this week. This week we're going to continue talking about Western Europe, but we're going to talk about the rest of Western Europe. So we talked about these lower parts last week. This week we're going to start with France, move over to Switzerland, then to Austria, then we'll talk a little bit about Belgium, then over to Germany, then to the Netherlands, and then we'll go north to the Scandinavia area. We'll talk about Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland. Okay, and these are kind of just the rest of Western Europe that we'll be talking about because we've already talked about Ireland and the United Kingdom. Um, they'll talk a little bit about important places and people in them. When we talk about Germany, we'll talk a bit about World War I and World War II, as well as the groups that were on each side of that war. And um, as you're reading, make sure you're taking careful note of who was on each side, of what countries were together during the First World War and the Second World War, because they're a little different. It can be tricky and confusing if you're not paying attention. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the Scandinavian countries and how they're different. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the um, geographic and the weather of some of these areas, including up here in the Lapland area, which is above the Arctic Circle. Um, and we'll talk about what it is like up there, some people groups that live above the Arctic Circle and the tundra and other places like that. Um, and then also, we won't get to this section this week, but we'll finish up Chapter 14 next Monday with our last section. And we'll talk about the languages of Europe and the three main groups that the languages are split into. And you'll see whenever you're learning about those language groups and the map over here, you'll see that a lot of the Romance languages are from around the Mediterranean. A lot of the um, Germanic languages are from around Germany. And a lot of the Slavic languages are kind of from around this area. And then there's also a subsection of Germanic languages that are the Scandinavian languages, which go with our Scandinavian countries. Um, and it's interesting to look at these languages and see how they're similar and how they're different from other language groups and what um, where they originally came from. And it's just cool to look at that. Um, and then let's talk a little bit about quizzes coming up. So this week we have two quizzes, Quiz 28 and Quiz 29. I want to make sure to remind you guys that we have cahoots and it's really, really important that you take them and you practice with those and you use those tools because they really are just just your quiz. Um, for our quizzes, you won't be able to use your notes or anything like that because you have the cahoots and they're really short. And so if you do the cahoots, I recommend doing it two or three times before you take your quiz. For quiz 28 and 29 this week, we'll review in class, and then I'm gonna want you to take the quiz after we've met in class together. That way we've had time to practice together before you do it, in addition to your cahoots. Um, this map is gonna be on quiz 28, and it's important to know all these different countries. All these different countries are countries that we're talking about throughout this whole chapter. And by the end of the chapter, you should know where all of these countries are and some important things about each of them. Um, so let's review this map really quick. So we have Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Greece. Moving up, we have Switzerland, Austria, Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands. Denmark is here, but it doesn't have a letter on it. And then we have these countries over here, which I'm trying to get to my map, which is not in front of me, which is Norway, Sweden, and Finland up here, and then Iceland is up here. And I want you to make sure that for our first quiz this week, which is on Monday after our class time, that you know where all these countries are. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, I want you to practice what the capitals are for those countries, because you'll have some important facts on them about some people and 
places that are there, but you also need to know the capitals. So as you go through, say, okay, I know all of my countries now, start adding in the capitals of Portugal. What's the capital of Portugal? And go through and practice that as you go. Um, if you know these, you'll do great on the quizzes. Again, please take those quahoots. They're really, really helpful. Um, and we'll be practicing those. And they're just meant to help you be prepared for your quizzes. Going forward, when we do our tests, I'll allow you to use your notes and your quizlets to um, use while you're taking your tests. But for the quiz quizzes, it will just be what you know and what you've practiced with me and with our Kahoot time. So make sure you're putting in that effort and you're practicing either by yourself and with me or with mom and dad or siblings or whoever, okay? So that is all for history. This is what we're looking at for chapter 14, which we'll finish up on Monday next week, and then we'll spend the rest of next week practicing and then taking our test before we move on to chapter 15, which will be about Eastern Europe. But that is it for chapter 14. Make sure you know your map, make sure you're taking your cahoots, and make sure you're familiar with these countries. That is all. Good luck, and I will see you in class.